Have you ever wondered how to create a system restore point in Windows? So today guys will be trying to show you how to do this one in a quick easy way. So guys what we shall do, we shall just come here and uh, on our search and type the word uh, this PC. This PC. So after typing it, this is what you will get. Then we shall go ahead to click on properties. So after clicking on properties, we shall click on system protection. So after reaching this step, uh, we can see the system properties here, uh, computer name, hardware, advanced, then the system protection. So this is what we need most guys. After reaching here, this is what we shall do. So you'll, you'll have to select uh, the disk where you installed your windows before. Uh, most cases you guys will uh, do install them on the local disk C uh, that's the same with this PC also they are installed on the disk C so I'll go ahead to highlight this local disk C by clicking on it then after clicking on it I'll uh, I'll click on configure so here you can see configure restore settings manage disk space and uh, delete, delete restore point so go ahead to click on config so after call, after clicking on config this is what you get this is the dialog box you get so this one shows you here uh, by enabling system protection you can do and desire changes by reverting your computer to prevent point in time so we are trying to do this one as uh, a backdoor for us just in case our pc gets an issue or it could be uh, a virus or anything we can restore back to the previous point then and go away with such issues so that's the main aim of doing this uh, restore point so what we'll do here next is uh, we shall turn on the system protection we shall turn on the system protection you will uh, check this one the first option then we shall go ahead to allocate some space for it here yeah? so we shall do this one by dragging this cursor so we shall allocate some space like that we shall allocate some simple space for it then still afterwards you can go ahead also to, de uh, to delete these restore points if you don't need them like you restore windows things like that then after reaching on this step this is what we shall do we shall click on uh, we shall click on uh, apply here first after applying then we shall click okay so now it's done here with that then this is what we'll do then we shall click uh, on create you can see now we've got another option here which says create a restore point right now for the drive that have system protection turned on so if you click on create here uh, they'll uh, they'll give you an option whereby you can name that you can name it to something which you can remember easily for example I'll use uh, NNM this which I can remember well but you can also give it yours of your choice create a restore point type a description to help you identify the restore point the current data and time are added automatically so we shall go ahead to create this so by clicking on this creator the PC will help you do that work it will make sure to create that uh, create that restore point and uh, do everything which is needed so Windows will take some time to create that time uh, that restore point because it takes some more time then I'll be showing you the other steps guys So as you can see here the restore point was created successful so you can go ahead to close you can go ahead to close this so when you want to use this uh, the next time if your windows has a 
has got any issues or anything you'll just come back here you'll just come here to these same settings and you'll just click on uh, system restore so it will go ahead to restore your system files and settings and uh, System Restore can help you fix problems that may be making your computer run slow or stop responding. System Restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data recently installed programs and drivers may be uninstalled. So if you continue with Next, you can see this is what I had uh, created before. Then I'll just select it when you select it. Uh, here you can also go ahead to scan for the affected programs and uh, if you can just you'll just click next and finish so this one uh, uh, if you click on finish it will go ahead to restore everything your computer will be restored to the state it was in before that event in the description field below so if the issue happened like tomorrow or any other next day so I can use this restore point to restore back my PC, my windows when they are working perfect before that time. Maybe in case I get like a, a virus or any malware, so I can use this one to restore it. So if you have made like changes to your Windows password recently, we recommend that you create a password reset disk always, guys. So I'll go ahead to finish and uh, this is for all today guys if you found this video uh, of hope and uh, if you've benefited anything don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below and please kindly do subscribe to our channel thank you guys